pay me very well, so I have to um, uh, supplement, supplement my income as, uh, as a waiter. I'm more of a handyman. This is a respectable hotel. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not a rent boy, and it greatly aroused my interest. I came round to look him up. I'm, I'm a rent boy, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just impressed that everyone in this 1920s market town hotel is so wonderfully sexually frustrated. He said he wasn't a rent boy. He said he was on the Oxford Mail. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't get paid enough to work <laughs> only for the Oxford Mail. Aren't you a clever little bird? I'm already acquainted. My cheeky shepherdess aroused your interest, <laughs> my little tiger cub. Fair question, my sneaky imp. Don't mind the kernel, my strawberry muffin. I'll go and comfort the little sugar lump. You're the one who wanted to spoil my bargain, you naughty little alligator. I think we all assumed our little woodpecker had seen a mouse. <laughs> Even with assistance from the coppers, my cheeky rattlesnake. My chirpy dicky bird. Yes, my little acid drop. Don't get annoyed with her, you irritable chicken. Bingo Smith. I take my hat off, dear sir. Showing the fingers of Smith. Fingers of Smith. I heard Smith. Did I hear Smith? That's a good one. Yeah. Finger Smith. No one to the fast as the Finger Smith. I take my hat off to you, sir. This would surely have been your greatest triumph. Finger Sniffer. Um. <laughs> Sullivan are going to move on. Meeting scheduled. Want to meet him? Important business to transact momentous stuff. <laughs> Interested to see what he eats. Always tell a man from what he has at breakfast. Toast for wimps, kippers for bounders, bacon for shirkers. <laughs> oh. As we're left to ourselves, Mr. Valet, apparently I don't know your name. Holy oh. bully ho, Alec. I've come to nibble your pouch. Alec? I'm called Alec? <laughs> <laughs> I, I should be outside, Mrs. Seth, again this morning. Alec Higgins. Oh, no. Olympia, am I Alec I'm or Alex. Alex? You're Alec. Alec. Um, but they don't call me Johnson for no reason. <laughs> I can't remember your name, sorry. Who? Name. What is your character's Son. 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 <laughs> As in murderer and son. <laughs> the keyhole showed me Mike. Furiously searching the drawers and throwing clothes around. Oh. Is that your name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you were female before, and it says non non gender specific. I think they changed the name. Jack Jackie is clearly the female version. Wait, 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 wait. In a minute, I call someone Jack. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Maybe Jackie's a female version of Jack. Who's Jack? I could be Jack, I don't have a first name. Yeah, but you couldn't be Jack or Jackie because <laughs> you're always female. We think you're Mike. Yeah, Mike. I'm Mike. I'm definitely Mike. Mike. Says Mike I'm not actually me. called Jack Johnson, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better presidential rival, Johnson. I think you're Jackie. Is that what you have? Here's a well missing Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Or whatever I should call him. Fingers now. Valet. Fingers <laughs> The ensuing conversation caused him some distress. No. Mm hmm. I have it as a neighbour. Yeah, me Line too. Line 42. Mm. Nope. <laughs> 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 Who do you have for line 42? I have valet. I have valet is line 41. What about 40? Okay, shall we. Shall I have 43. What, what's line 43? Okay. Well, it, everyone looks baffled. Is it and We're then? We should say and then and then and something. And I've then. got, ooh, machinations of the mind, corrupting the march of the senses, and words to burn a stain through the eye of the soul. Yet if I may say so, madam, insofar as I was able to catch it, her drift echoed with the rumble of truth. Mr. Sullivan, who is childless, has for some time been the victim of a persecution at the hands of a lunatic who claims to be his estranged son. I'm running, I'm running. I don't know who I'm pointing at here, but I'm pointing at somebody, so I'm just going to point at the table, all right? And when it becomes clear, you can all imagine. I think it's as full as one. 
strangers meet with frosty receptions always, but this man risks a smothering in snowflakes. <laughs> what occurrence has stirred up the white swirling poison of hostility in his room? The great defeat of mind by matter. A battle which rages since the beginning of time. And every day we see is just an intermission. She was young, impressionable. He was dashing and full of charm. He knew his own She's making sense all of a sudden. She succumbed. A mouse in the grip of a hawk. No. <laughs> we came from a rich family. <laughs> but in the year of his marriage, in the first year of his marriage, he gambled away her money and jewels and then left her for a music hall dancer while she was with child. <laughs> Speaking of the ballet, where is the blasted man anyway? Oh, bollocks. This whole situation is utterly affluing, um, utterly battling, sorry, uh, utterly baffling. <laughs> what <laughs> exactly are you exesting? Sorry, w what exactly <laughs> are you suggesting? I am rather unrettled, sorry, rather unsettled. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it wasn't. This one is called uh, Mr. Biggles. Um... You fiend! You clever, clever fiend! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's such a great insult as you might imagine. Fiddles <laughs> <laughs> and dicks. She realised Jack was not who he said he was and made us pay handsomely for her silence. Somebody likes Clue rather too much. So we've got, we got the three minutes left. But for, for technically the wrong reason. <laughs>